Good afternoon and welcome to Fixed on Living. So today we've done some upgrading on our um, on our camping setup. Before you saw we had a Mallard 32 or M32 bunkhouse. We've since sold that bunkhouse and through a lot of prayer ended up buying this 2021 Montana High Country 377 FL. So we bought this high country uh, up around Kentucky, or Northern Kentucky, almost Cincinnati actually, and I uh, got it home. And actually when we, when we picked it up, the guy was trying to pull the jacks up and show us how the auto leveling worked. And uh, the auto leveling wasn't working. And he had only used this thing one weekend. So it wasn't a, it's still under warranty. It wasn't something, it wasn't a deal breaker. So we went ahead and brought it home. What we've learned is the uh, calibration on these things will get out of whack when traveling down rough roads and if you've ever driven through kentucky that's exactly what you've got rough roads so um we got home couldn't get anything to work right um got it got the i'm sorry work with the auto leveling got the jacks manually down and leveled them leveled the rig ourselves um, now it's perfectly level we've done the calibration I'm sure there's plenty of YouTube videos out there on how to do the calibration, but I'm just going to show you real quick because I don't want to get into a whole lot. But um, when, when you're looking at your panel here, let's start in the off position. I've got an error here. When looking at the panel, I've already leveled the machine or the camper. It's, it's perfectly level. I used a, a two foot level in the floor to make sure that everything's exactly right. So now we're wanting to calibrate this to know where level is and the way you do that is press the front five times and then you press the rear five times and you'll see the lights light up it says zero points calibration it says enter to set or power to cancel or to exit so we'll hit enter it is setting it says stability check and there you go that's what it looks like when it's calibrated. So it's now calibrated to what level should be. This, that way the camper knows this is level. The other issue I'm having, or main issue I'm having actually, now when I turn this on, when I turn this on, I'm getting a left front jack error. Error, left front jack, can you see that? <clears throat> it says retract everything. Well, when you retract, all your jacks you're retracting them to um to the homing position so that they call that homing in the owner's manual so when you retract all the jacks to all the way up that's homing once you get them home then it recognizes that and it should clear your errors in my case it didn't when i'm when i'm extended got all my jacks up everything's down i'm sorry jacks down I get the left front jack error. When I pull everything up to the homing position, I get a right middle error, which is the other, the jack on the other side from that one that will not move. So, um, and I'm trying to make this as fast as I can. We'll do some more video later. So what I did is we went into the, um, let me show you in the crawl space or in the basement is where the control panel is that actually controls all of these all of the jacks we've taken the cover off there's the control panel there here you've got the uh this is the right side you've got the right rear right middle right front jack on the other side the left rear left middle and left front jack there's two harnesses for each one a big or a big yeah a big harness and a small harness so we switched them we flipped them if you'll notice right here we've got the left middle plugged into the right middle hole and vice versa that allowed us to manually lower those jacks to see if the other if it would recognize it and that and that right middle jack go down so we tried that i'm going to show you how to do that to lower the middle jacks you press and hold left and right together i don't know if you can see but that jack is coming down that's the left middle and on the other side the right middle jack still isn't moving so that tells us that it's the actual jack not the control panel so then, and this is where it got interesting, I walked around here and thought to check the jack, check your harnesses, check your plugs, that's what everyone on YouTube says. That's what Lippert Technical Support said. 
and right here you see that little white wire right there that is bent i thought hey that's bent like something's pulled on it and when they zip tied it up factory they bent that and that wire came loose so there is our problem the reason that it's showing a left front jack error sometimes the the computer will sometimes the jack error will move when things are where they're supposed to be and it doesn't understand why there's jack error there so it put it at the other so we're going to take this apart solder it properly fix it back and we'll be right back as it can be again and then we're going to plug it back in so now I'm going to climb in the crawl space and move the wires back around move the wires back around flip flop them again and see if indeed it will come down like it's supposed to so you can see there this is the right middle plugged into the left middle plug. We're gonna disconnect that. We're gonna disconnect this side one. And then the same thing on this side. Disconnect that. Disconnect the side one. We're gonna put them back in there in their proper place. So it's still showing an error, which is totally fine. We're trying to figure out, the, and it will until we zero it, but we're wanting to figure out if by pressing those two buttons. So now that jack's coming down, and the other jack is coming down as well. So we're going to manually retract those jacks. By doing that, we hit retract. And that light comes on, then we press both of them and hold them. We're going to back them up until those jacks get all the way to the top. We're rehoming those jacks. So what we've had to do here, if you look at the screen, it says that the jacks are down. Right now, it's just the only, or it's just the front jacks. But if you'll notice, there are no error codes which is good. We've uh, recalibrated it to level, and so now we're ready to hit auto level and let it do its thing. So we're gonna hit auto level right here. Look at that, no errors. It says it's grounding the front. It'll push the front up, and it'll pull it down and get everything like it's supposed to. If you notice, everything that we're doing right now is with the um, slides in. Uh, some systems have uh, safety in place that won't allow you to do any jacking um, or any leveling with the slides out. Um, it puts a lot of under pressure on the jacks to have to pick up that extra leverage that's pushing out. So um, we have gone ahead and pulled the slides in 
to make sure that it will do this properly. I'm not sure if this one does have the safety in it to where it won't let you. I could try that later. Um, I do know Jayco, their leveling system won't let you do it with the slides out, but just in case you're not sure, don't try it. Just make sure the slides are in whenever you go to, um, when you go to level up, just, just pull the slides in and you can't go wrong. You can't mess it up. So that's what we're doing. You can hear it. Jacks are moving up and down. It's a beautiful sound. And let me tell you, this is 10 times easier than our old camper where we had to, well, actually it didn't have the, the manual jacks. It still had a button, but they didn't level it like that. So, uh, being able to pull up on a nice, uh, especially when you're at a campground, that has got a nice concrete pad or at least a semi-level pad and you hit that button and it levels your rig up. Well, it's, it's so nice because then you can just go right inside, run your slides out and start enjoying yourself. That's why we started camping, not, not for the setup, but for the enjoyment of being set up. So, um, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Um, leave a comment, be sure and hit that subscribe button and notification button. Cause we would love to love to let you know when we've got more videos coming out. We try to do these as often as possible. Uh, it's not, not been that often that we've been able to do these lately, but now the weather's much better. Shooting outside is much easier. And so here we are. The camper is leveling up. We're good to go. Mm -hmm.